Hello and welcome to my let's play of Five Nights at Freddy's 3. As you can see, this one is one of the spookiest of its in its series. I'm already pretty spooked by this title screen. And I'm hoping the game starts soon because I'm going to shit my pants if I look at this any longer. Yes, there we go. So this is already pretty scary. If you just look at this. I mean this atmosphere is... Scott has really outdone himself once again. Now the game isn't actually out yet. This is just a leaked demo version kind of thing. And it's pretty damn hard. I mean I'm at night 3 already but... See these, these little traps. People that have gotten the game too early couldn't really play it properly because it's just too hard. Which was really, really nerve wracking for everyone. Look at how hard this, hard this game is. Just, just, yeah, it's really, really hard. There's surprises in every corner for you. And it's one of the scariest of its kind. No, no Freddy clone could be this nerve wracking and hard. And we have beaten Night 3 if I wouldn't have jumped so stupidly again. In the top left corner you can see I have limited lives. If I get spooked too much. It's of course going to be a game over me. Yes, like this. I'm getting spooked by Bowser all the time. I must say, the music and atmosphere is really what does it for me in this one. You may have noticed or may have not noticed on my channel that I didn't play the other parts. But this one is really, really... It has amazing gameplay. Amazing spooks. And just look at this level design and atmosphere. Look at Freddy there. He's just running around. Probably going to murder security people all day. And he fails to press buttons all the time. But I think the game speaks for itself. You don't have to really speak much. Yeah, stupid lava. This is also the first Five Nights at Freddy's that features good old lava, as we can see in many other games like Super Mario. And I really like what this game has turned into, because it's like one of those old classics, Super Mario and Zelda and all this stuff. There's nothing better than the good old classics. See, there's even a little trolley here, in this one. But I've beaten Night 5 already. It gets easier with time, really. Once you have the routine and everything. Just like 2 and 1. I like these amazing graphics, by the way. Maybe a bit pre rendered, but still. See, I've beaten Night 6. Onto the secret night seven, I guess. I know your tricks by now. See, I have clearly gotten better already. I'm not dying as much. But it's still really, really hard. All the jump scares are really nerve wracking as well. Actually, the game doesn't have as many jump scares, it's just the spooky atmosphere now. I don't know if you could tell, but I can totally tell. Night 9, there's so many nights in this one. Ah, yeah, I can see that this is a bad idea there. To not jump. Game also keeps telling me that I should jump. I mean, duh. 
What else is Five Nights at Freddy's about? Besides jumping. And there we go. I'm not going to play it any further, or it will all be spoiled for you. You have to play it for yourself, and this is only a demo, of course, and the final game may look slightly different. But yeah, this has been Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the leaked version from Game Jolt. It has been leaked, of course, but didn't release it so early. And this concludes this video. Well, see you in the next one, everyone. Bye.